Hello guys, it's mdragonfly 3 and welcome back to another episode on the Eccentric SMP. Um, it may look very different to what you guys watched last video because it is different. A lot has happened in the last couple of days because there's a lot of people. The more people, the more stuff that happens. I'll walk you guys through it later, but first... We've got more people online this time, so I'm just going to let everyone know that I'm recording. And maybe they'll say hi to you if they're feeling like it. I'll feature my friends' channels in the descriptions for you guys to subscribe to them. And... Don't forget to subscribe to me if you enjoy the video, and don't forget to leave a like. Now, let me talk you through a lot of stuff while I do other stuff as well because I'm planning a project. Now then, what I wanted to say was, well, first I'll start with the incident. Yesterday... I was trying to get villagers, which I have succeeded at now, and I died trying. It was annoying because I had villagers, of course, I had so much iron, I, I even had diamonds, and I had a lot of valuable stuff which I had unfortunately lost. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but I've respawned, I've made my progress back. I had some iron in my secret valuables chest, which I am not showing anyone where it is. Because if my friends end up watching my videos and finding it, then that's not good. Because they can steal from me. And in some cases where that happens, I don't want to be in one of those cases. Now, I'll actually do more stuff today so that it's not boring. Well, it's not as boring as the last episode. Last episode was kind of just to catch you guys up, but this video is actually going to be quite important. So, I'm just getting wood because I'm going to need it later. Now then, down here is a villager room, which you guys saw before. And I actually did get villagers. I got them today. So, yeah. And I want to go inside and make some signs, actually. Because they'll pretty much just tell you where you are, what's going on, and they'll be very useful. Oh, I did not mean to craft all of those into planks. Oh well. Good thing there's more trees. Now then, my main project is to get this villager room looking better for today's episode. But I also want to start work on another project. Oh my goodness, you almost escaped. Oh, uh, that's a little bit worrying. First, I want to expand this by two blocks. Wait, actually, I'm going to need a lot more villagers than what I've got right now, which is, I think, seven. Um, let me just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's seven. I'm going to need 22 villagers in here. Because 20 of them are going to be used for an iron farm, which I will be making. Right, please stop running in my way, it's getting annoying. Alright, it's because of the rain, isn't it? Right, I'm going to move these one block back. Because I'm going to put logs there, so the buildings have corners. Now we've got 14, 16, 18, 20 blocks. Well, I'm going to need this room expanded by another three blocks. 
So, before I can do that, well, I can do that, but before I, I'm going to do that, I am going to get some stone. Not cobblestone, regular stone. I don't know how much I'll need, so I'll just grab another stack, and I'll put those in the furnaces. First, let's just split these in half. 45 each. Put one half in that furnace, and the other half in that furnace. And that will start to smelt. And up here, it's kind of empty. So I want to add decorations outside my house and also in my house to make the island look better, really. That's what I did to that bridge outside over there. Because before it was literally just a cobblestone pathway. It was the most boring thing ever. <laughs> um, no offence to whoever made it. I, I, I don't know who actually originally made it. I think it was... Actually, never mind. Anyways, ah. look who we've got here. Now then, I would get my emeralds out of trade with you, but one, your trades suck, and two, I got them in my secret chest, which I'm not revealing to anybody except myself. Now, as you can tell, the sheep farm is finally fixed, and there are no silly billies exploding it this time. And the crop farm is bigger, we've got a bridge going under here, and I want to show you guys my other friend's bases. Now I'm actually the only person that lives on this side, which is quite cool. And four other people live on this side. We've got, got Water Rainbow on this side, and we've got, <coughs> sorry, we've got somebody else down there and over there and we've got Wadajo over there and PhD is somewhere else I don't know where they are anyways why don't we start putting signs around villager reading room oh creeper get rid of that thing oh come on oh no it's walking onto my crop farm if I shoot it now then it's gonna destroy it oh 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 I didn't actually harm it good it's just that when you jump yeah, it gets destroyed. I don't want to demonstrate because I don't like doing either. Whoa, 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 another creeper. Alright, be careful about this. Nice. Now, you may or may not have noticed this. That is the mob farm, which I have not built. I did not build that. Somebody else built that. And I went over and checked on it a little while ago but it's not done I think so let's put a sign up here MB George's house there we go that looks wonderful here I'll put a sign uh, uh, ow 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 oh I hate that sweet berry right you know what the sweet berry farm has got to go Finally, that's one problem to deal with. Tree farm. There we go. And over here, I'll put sheep farm. Over here, I'll put wheat farm. Actually, I'll put that more towards the centre. So that's easy to see from over there. And here, I'll put the chicken farm. Usually I just go in here, collect the eggs, and throw them at the chickens, and baby chickens spawn, and oh my goodness, that's a thunderstorm. 
Right guys, go to bed. I'm not actually on a call with anybody because um, I don't want to. That's too many people for one call. The audio will be quite glitchy. I'm going to put sleepy time and let's see if everyone sleeps. Maybe we'll see if we get a response or if the number goes up. Because I do not want it to be a thunderstorm for that long. Right, I'll get up for now. And when I get a notification, oh, I got one. When they're sleeping, I'll make a move. Oh, I've got two left over. Alright, there we go. Two people in bed. Kind of just waiting. Yeah, sometimes this takes a couple of minutes to do. Oh, I've, oh all right. I'll get up to then. If everyone's getting up. Is this done? Almost. Doing quite well. Right. I'm trying everything I can to not fill up this chest. I don't know why. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is take this out. Put that back in. Oh, I could put that in there as well. And oh. Stack of saplings. Oh, I've got notifications while I was away. Oh. We're not sleeping yet. Yep, sometimes people just leave and join because they can't sleep. Um Okay, guess I'll get up and do something in night well I would like to decorate my house with more decorations but one of the things I can make is oh, the, oh everybody's leaving for some reason oh Oh, just me. What a nice and lonely place. But not for long. Ooh, good amount of slabs. In fact, it's the perfect amount of slabs to create a composter and then have three left over. Ooh, chiseled bookshelf. Ooh, I did not know those existed. I forgot about them. I want to put a composter there, and then I guess I can just put the rest of the slabs there. And oh, everyone's coming back now, yes, yeah, because of the sleeping issue. It's not every day you rely on me to sleep. Oh, that's a spare, so I guess that can go in the chest. The chest of junk and nothing. Right, let's do something. Let's explore. I need clay for bricks, for flower pots. And maybe we can make an actual pot as well, for no reason whatsoever. Just that it's cheap and simple to craft. First, we actually have to find some. There we go. Clay is pretty much everywhere. So that's why it's easy to find. Was that it? 
Looks like it. Who's this little fella? Are you mine? Hang on. I think I might have some backstory behind this. Right, if I can get him to sit down, that means that he is mine. Ooh, look at that. It is mine. I know what's happened. Guys, I know what's happened. Ooh, let's bring that back. Actually, let's just bring the entire bit back. Because it's better to have five flowers than one. Alright, while I climb up this mountain, I'll tell you guys a backstory. When I died earlier, when I told you guys about that, while I was trying to get the villagers... Oh, I didn't actually tell you how I died. Oh, a creeper blew me up in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, wasn't careful. And the other person on the realm wasn't sleeping, so... Well, actually, I don't think it was night. I think it was daytime. It was raining, that's why the creeper was there. Look, dog number one is still there. Dog number two is here. Alright, I'm gonna have to remove these fences. Alright, you can go on the left. And you can go on the right. Now I'm gonna ask for feedback. I've got two name tags upstairs. Actually, I'm going to start with, do you guys have name suggestions for a dog? For my dogs? There we go. Now, the name tags are here. And they'll go perfectly for my dog. I was going to get that red dye, but I realised I don't need it. Gerald... And Pablo, I reckon that says. <laughs> I love those names. Gerald and Pablo. They're perfect. Alright, let's do this. Gerald. And Pablo. <laughs> no. I've already got names taken. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I'll do that on the next dog, but I only have two name tags. Right, you are Gerald, oh never mind, you're Pablo and you're Gerald. Alright, if you're in the corner then so are you, Pablo and Gerald sitting in the corners of my house. That looks wonderful, right, let's also mix signs. And let's also not forget to put that in the furnace. Take that out. Put a sign up here saying MD George's dogs. Now down here is the mine. I'll name it MD George's mine, just to fit the pattern. And also, it is mine. No one else can use it. Well, actually, I don't really care if you use it. Now, um... Well, I guess we can finish decorating that room. Oh, and expand it, of course. Also, stone is a bit boring, so I'll add some like other decorations to it. Anyways, this needs to be expanded by three blocks. No, 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 no. Three and three only. Right, 
the villagers are going to have a lot more space but the villagers are also not going to be used to not seeing that diorite every day they wake up it's like good morning oh wow look at that big patch of ugly diorite that's there every single morning when I wake up isn't it ugly Now what I kind of wanted to go for was a design like this. So, oh, I ran out of logs. Oh my goodness. Alright, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. Let's get seven then. Won't take long from my tree farm. Oh, I seem to have started to cut down a big tree. I'm going to be here for days. <sighs> now I've started, I can't really stop. Because, you know, it's a big tree. You can't leave trees floating. Well, I mean, I can't. Otherwise, I get really annoyed. I get annoyed if there's one block missing. That you haven't mined. Or two, or three, or in some cases, half of the tree. Yeah, a lot of people I know do that. And sometimes I do it too, but it's very uncommon. Oh, no, no, no not that one. Alright, I think that's everything. And if I do miss one, I always build up and fix it. Oh, we've got a visitor coming over the bridge. I need to go down here. Ooh. I don't know if green villages are actually going to work for this farm. But you know what, I don't know. I guess I can just leave him here in the breeding bit. Now then, I've moved this back to place the logs. And look who's standing in the way. I'm also going to move this torch. I'm going to do that. Oh, come on. There we go. Why is it always that? Oh, no, no, wait, hang on. That's going to be a log, so. Yes, yeah, identical to that. So it'll be there and then there'll be one there. Oh, oh come on. Sorry, I think I've um, lost my. Um... Oh, I forgot the word. Anyways, I, I, I guess I'll pretty much just do that off camera because that's kind of boring to watch. And we'll go, we'll go up here into my house and then we'll get the bricks from here. And oh, that didn't actually finish. Good use for the fences. Yep, spare fences, spare doors spare glass panes anything like that it always happens to some people i wish there was an option where you could just craft one just one that would be great oh i've still got a fence in there i might forget about that later well you know what i think i'm gonna end the video here I know it's quite short today, but there wasn't really much to do. And next episode, I will start a bigger project. So that video will be longer, but there's not really much to do today. So I'm going to end it. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for more notifications. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.